An inflorescence, an inflorescence is a group or cluster of flowers arranged on a stem that is composed of a main branch or a complicated arrangement of branches. So it basically means an arrangement of uh, flowers on a floral axis. Um, so type of inflorescence, there is racemose inflorescence and cymose inflorescence. Racemose inflorescence, in this, the main axis continues to grow. The flowers are born in acropetal succession, which means that the new flowers are um, um, at the apex, while the older flowers are at the base. Example is mango, which, um, and its scientific name is Mangifera indica. As you can see here, the new flowers are at the apex. Uh, where, uh, whereas the older flowers are at the base. And in cymose inflorescence, the main axis terminates in a flower. The flowers are born in a basic petal order. That is, the uh, newer flowers are um, at the base, whereas the older flowers are at the apex. Example is dianthus. There are many types in um, di dianthus. There are different colors. So next we will see. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the special types of inflorescence. Um, here we have three types, Cyathium inflorescence, Hypanthodium inflorescence, and Verticillaster inflorescence. First, Cyathium inflorescence. In this, um, as you can see here, um, there is one female flower, and around it we can see uh, the male flowers. There will be uh, five groups of male flowers, as you can see here. Um, so a cyathium, or uh, the plural form is cyathia, is a specialized pseudanthia, which means false flowers, which forms the inflorescence of plants in genus Euphorbia. You can see this type of inflorescence in Euphorbia. Its family is Euphorbiaceae. A cyathium consists of five rare uh, bracts or bracteoles, which form cup-like cup in, in involucre. That is uh, the layers, as you can see here. These bracts form the involucre. And it has nectar glands and uh, one reduced female flower, as we saw. And around it, we have um, five groups of extremely reduced male flowers. So uh, these are the male flowers, and this is one male, uh, one main uh, female flower. This is euphorbia. Um, a paired petal-like bracts of euphorbia are called cyanthophylls. Here, the female flower to male flower ratio is 1 is to infinity. Most cyathia have upright cyathophylls, which surround them protectively but render the nectar glands uh, inaccessible. To compensate between them are the naked sterile cyathia, which on, uh, whose only job is to produce nectar. So there is nectar gland in this, which produces a nectar uh, in order to uh, attract insects for pollination. So this is the nectar gland here. Next, we have hypanthodium inflorescence. Example is fig, ficus carica is a, a scientific name. Hypanthodium inflorescence is ca categorized by the floral axis being fleshy and, the, and closed forming a pear-shaped receptacle. As you can see here, it is pear-shaped. Uh, this is a, a fig. So this is ostiole, that is the opening. And on uh, towards the ostiole, we have the male flowers. And at the bottom, we have female flower. And in between the male and the female flowers, we have the sterile uh, uh, flowers, which is also known as the gall flower. So this is, uh, there are three types of flowers that is de that develops in the inner surface of the receptacle. It becomes fleshy and forms the fruit, which we consume. And the female flowers are towards the base, as we saw. Um, yeah, this is the gall flower, which is in between the female flowers and the male flowers. Third, we have Vesti, uh, verticillaster inflorescence. Example is Osimum or Tulsi, as we commonly call it, or, and uh, Salvia. So this, uh, this is the verticillaster inflorescence. As you can see, um, there are a bunch of flowers that arise from, a, uh, from one point. Uh, when you see it under a microscope, you can see that the stem is quadrangular in um, shape. And initial inflorescence is... Um, Dicasial, that is, there are two flowers, and then it uh, it becomes monocasial, that is, one flower, that one uh, one flower arises. Um, it is an inflorescence in which the flowers are arranged in a seeming uh, wall, 
consisting in fact a pair of opposite axillary, usually sessile chymes, which means that they uh, do not have stalk, uh, as in many mints. A, a verticillaster uh, is a fascicle with the structure of a dicasium. That is nothing but uh, what I said right now, dicasium, uh, dicasial flowers. So, um, verticillaster inflorescence is um, a modified cymose inflorescence. Cymose inflorescence uh, uh, we discussed earlier. Um, in this type, sorry, this is a typo here. In this type of inflorescence, the flowers are zygomorphic. That is, they are bilaterally, uh, bilateral. Uh, they have bilateral symmetry. That is, they can be divided into two equal parts. Flowers are sessile. Again, uh, it should be S-E-S-S-I-L-E, -S -S without stalk. So that's about uh, the three types of special types of inflorescence. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Thank you.